example is about a calculator. How do we? We have two numbers, or we can do three, four, whatever. And these are the operations. If we can see right here in the formula bar, that is the result for all these numbers. Now I have an example here about a monthly expenses. A monthly expenses. <coughs> I have a monthly expenses. My income, my salary is three thousand two hundred dollars every month. And I have ex monthly expenses, a mobile card, 100, house rent, 600, and these are all my expenses. What do I have? I need to read all the notes and then go for the requirements. Total expenses. What is the total expenses? Total expenses is the summation of this one. However you want to write it, it's not a difference by formula or by basic functions. Press enter. Now what is expenses per day? Expenses per day is total expenses divided by number of days. Number of days in this note is 31. So I'm going to go for equal total of expenses divided by, according to my note, 31. What is the saving? Now, this, the salary is 3200 I must subtract it from the total expenses. So, salary equal formula minus total expenses and press enter. Saving per day is the same thing. Is the saving divided by the pay. How many, sorry, the days. How many days? It's 31, and this is the saving per day. Now here, I have another example. I have drug code. This is for pharmacy. Cost for every drug. Quantity, how many pieces I need from this drug. And this is the total expense, uh, total price. So how do I calculate this one? This equal cost multiplied by amount and just a drag again the note is very important as i can see the total i'm giving it to you like this what is the sum of totals is it's the summation of these totals discount the discount is 10 percent so i'm going to go for equal total multiplied by 10 percent what is the tax tax is five percent so equal total multiplied by five percent like this what is the final the final is total expenses uh, sorry sum of totals minus the discount plus the tax and this is like this how do I do it in Iraqi dinar? I can see the notes. One dollar is one thousand three hundred Iraqi dinar. So I'm gonna multiply this dollars by one hundred three thousand dinars. So this is the amount in for this bill in dollars fifty two, and in Iraqi dinar is sixty eight thousand dollars almost. This is the example of the pharmacy now what do we have the last thing we have is the conditional format or the if function and conditional format after that we're going to go for now if function how do i use a function and when do i use it when i have a conditional format or sorry when i have a condition that means i'm going to use the if function and the condition here is the result i want to pass or fail pass or fail so this is a condition it could be pass or it could be fail according to this example i'm going to go for the sum the total of all the marks and check if this student is pass or fail so i here i'm going to use the if function when i'm using the if function the logic test i have three arguments or parameters the condition true value and false value 
The logic test is I'm going to go for sum and check if it's greater or equal to 50. What do I need to do? I need to do for go for pass. I also can do this one from the fx function. And if it's not, the false value will be fail, close the bracket. Now I can see that this student is fail, it's less than 50. I have only one student pass. Now what is the note? Every student, we can see here, number four, using if function, write congratulations for any passing student. The student who has passed only. So I have also an if function. And if I can go for sum or I can go for the result. If this one equals pass, write congratulations. If it's not, leave it empty. So just to drag, I can see that only one student's pass and I wrote for him congratulations. And what is the con conditional format is very easy. I can do it for numbers or from text. Now let's go for numbers. First thing I need to see the pass make it in uh, blue or red, whatever, the pass is in green, the pass is in yellow color, let's say, and the fail is in red. So the pass, select this one, if it's numbers, go to conditional format, the highlight, greater than 49, make it yellow, like this. Select again. If it's less than 50, make it red. Good. Duplicate values, that means I don't have duplicate values. And equal. If I'm searching for a specific number, just like 0, make it in green. I don't have 0 right here. Or I can select here and make it equal to zero make it green i can see that i have two zeros in this table i can do it for text as well like this and text that contains pass make it in green and this is how we're going to do the conditional 